me walk in those places. But we're going to continue on. We're looking at Romans chapter 5. Um, looking at verses 3 through 6 right here. And this is this is where, hey, the, the, the rubber meets the road. When we talk about the rubber meeting the road, where the heat and the friction takes place. In Romans chapter 5, 3 through 6, all these sweet songs sound so good until we have to walk them out. It says, and not only so, but we glory in tribulation also. Do you? Ooh, that's the question. Do you glory in your tribulations? Do you glory in the things that seem to be working against you? Yeah, yeah. You know those tough places where you had to rely upon God to move and and, and God made it very clear that he was not on your schedule and, and your schedule wasn't his schedule and and but you needed movement and, and it produced these places in which we relied upon him and 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 you know as we grow in faith if we're not at that place and and we're ever having to maintain this position if we're not at that place where we can understand that all things work together beyond the sweet song then this place of tribulation might be a difficult place for us hallelujah but in romans 5 3 through 6 paul says and I don't mean so, but we also glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Wow, 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 yeah. Yeah, when you're going through some tough places, when you have to walk in this venue or this 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 atmosphere of tribulation and and you don't have a way that you can figure out how to get out, then patience that's where patience is developed. Come on now. You better hear what I'm saying here tonight because this is good. This is where real patience is developed because, you know, the world teaches patience, but patience, real patience is developed when you're in a place and the tribulation seems to be so great, yet you can't figure your way out, but you know that God has you in this place. So it's at that, in that atmosphere that patience, real patience is developed. You say, why do you keep calling this real patience, Apostle? Because as you progress along this path, you're going to need to know what real patience is. What, what not just a worldly, you know, quick fix, a world, worldly pill. You're going to need to know that, hey, in places where I can't figure things out, I know that God got me. Sometimes we got to go back to those places where we got to remember the testimonies that he did for us. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We got to go back and remember those testimonies to anchor us in on these journeys where, God says, no, you can't abandon the course. I just want you to be patient. And then from that place of patience, after it's being developed and, and re, I'm talking real patience here. I'm talking real tribulation. I'm talking really going through when you're saying, God, this smoke is so thick. And yet every time I take a step, not even knowing where my feet will land, you're there. Hallelujah. You're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when real patience is developed. And and then, and it says, and patience experience. So, okay, now this thing is starting to make some sense to me. So as I enter into the trials and tribulations of life, then my patience is creating a testimony that will speak on behalf of me that I can call my experience. Come on now, you got to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The tribulation, because I can't figure it out, but knowing that God got me has given me this patience that I didn't create for myself. And when this thing is complete, guess what I have? I have an experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An experience. 
And, and, and from that experience, I can share with individuals, you know, you can, you can go through some real tough places in life and guess what you're going to have to do? You just, you're just going to have to go through it. Yeah. No, no, won't be, and no, 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 no miracles. No, just, he got you. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Yeah. No, no, he got you. No, no, you won't be able to figure it out. Your, your mental capacity is, is not at the span where you can think like he think because he tells you his thoughts, not your th thoughts, but he tells you to trust him. So, so no, yeah, you will, you will have these tribulations and they'll make this patience and, and, and from the patience that they develop as you wait upon the Lord, hallelujah, and he renews your strength, then you have this experience. And, and once this experience is there, you have something that you can share with individuals who are entering into trials and tribulations or in the midst of trials and tribulations. You can channel them to the place where the patience is developed based on an experience that you had. Hallelujah. That's right, prophet. Trust God always. There's an experience that we have. And from that experience, when I share that component of myself, then guess what comes after that? Hope. The hope. Oh, wow. There's a hope that I didn't have that now I do have because I did it God's way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a testimony that while I was going through, yeah, yes, yeah. And I was patiently awaiting his deliverance if if or his assistance or or whatever I'm waiting on him to do. I'm patiently awaiting him, trusting in him. Look at this experience that I have right now. And from this experience, here you take this because hope comes from it. Now that which you are going through may seem a lot easier. Because you recognize, wow, somebody went through something and they trusted God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And from their trust in God, they gained this testimony. Oh, wow. And, and when we gain these testimonies and we share them, this is why we can't have these sheltered lives. We can't have the lives that we don't share with individuals what we have been through in some capacity, I know, you know, this, you, you want to get past some seasons of your life and, and sometimes you don't ever want to open those books again, but you got to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit to say, Lord, is this something that I can share with this individual that's in this tough place that will bring them a degree of hope? Because that's what it did for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it did for me. And it said, and, and hope maketh not a shame. Come on now, when, when I trust God and I have my hope in him, now mind you now, watch this, because I'm talking real talk, real stuff here. Let, I need you to understand this, because this is how all things work together. You, you've been through something, right? All right, right, right. Yeah, thumb up me there, so I done been through something. Yeah, and when I was in this something that I've been, that I went through, I didn't have an answer on, on how I was going to get to the other side. But I just trusted God. Praise God. Praise God. I just trusted God that I would get to the other side. And from him bringing me to the other side, then guess what? Then I have this experience now that that I can share to bring hope to someone else. And, and, and guess what? Sometimes I have to look at my own self in the mirror. That's my man, Anthony. Good to hear, see you, brother. Sometimes I have to look at myself in, in the mirror and remind myself of the things that God had brought me through. Come on now. Look, you, David encouraged himself in the Lord. David went through a tribulation so great. He, he went, you know, he had crossed over the Philistines to the Philistine side to hide from Saul. And, 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 and on that side, on the Philistine side, he arrived at this place where the men that he was leading, he lost all the, all the wives they had were took. And the men turned on David and they were going to stone him. So 
David had to encourage himself. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you got to get in that mirror and nobody knows what you're going through. Nobody knows what you've been through. Nobody knows except you and God. And you have to encourage yourself. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you have to do. You got to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I'm going to make it. You got to look at yourself and say, God, that was a tough place one time that you brought me through in the past where I had no idea how I would get through, but I'm here. And when I look back in those places and I remember the testimonies of when he brought me through, when at that time, come on now, I was grabbing my pillow, putting it on my, on one under my knees and one under my face and a, and, a, and, a, and a box of tissue or a roll of tissue beside me because it was going down. Hallelujah. All emotions flying off because it ain't nobody but me and God. And, and Lord, you brought me through that place. So if, if, if I didn't know how you was going to bring me through that place and now I'm in this place, God, hallelujah. You're so good. Hallelujah. You got a hope inside of me that maketh not a shame. Let me tell you something. When your hope, now get this, I, I could easily say when your hope is anchored in God, but God wants us to know the systems because if, see, it's when we don't know the system, we don't receive the full benefit. See, my hope is anchored in God Almighty and experience that I went through where my patience was developed in a tribulation that I had no control over. Oh, come on, boy, we got to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's at that place where real hope is cultivated inside of me and I can take those, take those and make those next moves that God will have for me. You look out there down the vision of your life, God has a great place for you to go. And along that path, it looks like, whoa, okay, I could do that, God. I don't know how to do that, God. At that place on the path, it looks impossible, but I know you're leading me that way. I know you're leading me that way. But I know, you know, you know, David said, I, I slayed a, a, a giant, a, a lion and a bear. And this Philistine in front of me, that Goliath that's on the path, I got him too because I got a track record of something that's been made inside of me and cultivated because I trusted God. Hallelujah. And when I trust God, the scripture tells me that hope make it not a shame. Hallelujah. I'm going to say it again. Glory be to God. Hope make it not a shame. Ah, ha, ha, ha. See, 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 the Lord put that in there. So he, he wanted you to know that though the world may say for this path that you're traveling, you look foolish to them, you don't look foolish to me because hope maketh not a shame. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. The world saying, hey, jump ship, but you stay in the boat. Hey, hope maketh not a shame. Hallelujah. When everybody's saying, man, you crazy. Uh, girl, you ought to know better. Hope maketh not a shame because the, the a shame that it would um, um, attempt to resonate inside of me doesn't exist because my hope is real, because the experience I had was real, because the patience that I developed inside of me is real, and the tribulation, hey, that's realer than real. Hallelujah. He tells us that. He's got, yeah, 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 Ginger, we walk it out by faith, not by sight. Glory be to God. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us. For when we were yet, who will get this? This is Romans 5, 3 through 6. Good God on mine, this is so good. It says there. Now, he just went through this, and I just went through this dissertation on behalf of the Holy Spirit, communicating that to us and me. And then to put the, the sprinkles on the cupcake, in verse 6 he says, for when we were yet without strength, in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. I want us to stop at the comma. For when we were yet without strength. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody been there with me. For when we were yet without strength. Oh, 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 I'm letting that sit right there, right there. Somebody better thumb up this thing some more. For when we were yet without strength, good God Almighty, ah, ha, ha, I didn't have a clue, didn't, and, and I didn't have the strength to move on, Lord. For when we were yet without strength, good God Almighty, when there was nothing else that would resonate inside of me, God, whew, you were there. Mm. Good God Almighty, when the whole world was saying, go the other way, God, you were there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a good God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he won't let you down. Yeah, 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 Philip, he won't let us down. Hallelujah. And let, let's go to Galatians 6, 9. We're talking about endurance here. Hallelujah. That was so good. I, I feel like just running around and, and praising God just on that. Because now I know that when I go through these tough places, there's something that's being worked inside of me. This patience is working experience. And this experience is giving me a hope. And, and I don't care how murky the water look. I'm not going to be ashamed. And if I get to a place where I feel like I was going to faint for when we was yet without strength. Good gosh almighty. Hallelujah. Boy, he's good. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, let's look at Galatians 6. So it tells us there, he says, I'm talking about endurance here. I'm talking about competing because there's places in this walk where you have to press against the adversary. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Pressing against the adversary requires that we have on the whole arm of God. This is, this is, this is why Paul said that we may be able to stand. Hallelujah. Let's, in Galatians 6, verse 9, it says, And let us not be weary in well-doing. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, that sounds like a sweet song, but see, I, I'm, I'm teaching us something here tonight. I'm, I'm teaching us something here tonight. He says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. Oh, I know you was done wrong. Oh, no, I know your flesh wants to retaliate. Oh, I know, I know you said, Lord, just keep that off my tongue because I can snap off. He says, don't be weary in well-doing. He says, look at my son. Look at my daughter. Look at him shine when everything is stacked against me. Ah, when the words are flying past my ears. Ah, when my spider senses, you know what I'm saying, hallelujah. That Holy Ghost inside of me is peeping off and this thing is binging in the green lights. He said, don't, don't be weary in well-doing. You keep doing good. I'm working something inside of you. Keep doing good. I know that 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 seems like right now you can fix this if you snap off just a second. Keep doing good. Let us, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, ooh, let us not be weary in well-doing. Oh, 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 Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Oh, we got to get this. Come on with me, come on with me. Come on with me, we got to get this. No, no sister, no brother, no, no pastor, no teacher, no son, no daughter. Hallelujah, friends, family, don't get weary in well-doing. You, you do good because it's the right thing to do. Hallelujah, you keep doing good because it's wired inside of you. You don't want the enemy to perform a surgery on you and some gunk is found. No, 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 no. You won't, you don't want to be weary in well-doing. Why, 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 hallelujah. Why come I can't just break one off? Why can I pull it back one time? Why can I just, it says, let us not be weary in well-doing. He said, for in due season, oh yeah, 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 in due season, when in due season, oh no, 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 I don't want it to be my season because I said it's my season, I want it to be in due season, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The season that God has set aside for me on my dispensational time frame and in which I'm created to, to prosper in whatever aspect of prosperity he wants me to prosper in. In due season, hallelujah, in due season, we shall reap. Ah, ah, we shall reap in due season. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your season is right there. It's right there. It's due season. Oh, Lord, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post it up out there. Lord, it's my season. Lord, Lord, open the realms of my due season. Ah, uh, yeah, in due season. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. For in due season, Lord, escort me in due season. I want to be in due season. Some of you hear me with natural ears. In due season, we shall reap. Hallelujah. We shall reap. Hallelujah. In due season, he makes a promise. He says, we shall reap if we faint not. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you got to, this is why you can't go weary and well doing. You got to have something inside of you that indicates to the flesh that you buffet daily to make it just slave flesh. You can't convince me to abort my season. Ah, I, I, you can't faint right now. You came too far. You dug in too deep flesh. You can't convince me to abort my season. Hallelujah. I'm right at the place of reaping. Ah, you look at yourself and say, I won't faint. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I won't faint. I won't go weary and well doing. I won't faint. I won't abort my season. Ah, yeah, yeah. I got the reapers out because the Lord said I shall reap. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't abort my season by fainting. Oh, no. No, no blackouts. No, no. No, what did I just do? No, no, no. You can't abort this. You got to you got to stay the course and walk righteous. When unrighteousness is wrapped around you, stay the course and walk righteous. Because in due season, ah, yeah, yeah, in due season, I won't faint. No, I'm going to reap. Yes, it's due season. Oh, yeah, Lord. Oh, yeah, Lord. Escort us into due season. Ah, yeah, on this night, Lord, open the realms of due season. That we reap, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lord. We've stood our ground. We haven't fainted, Lord. It's due season, Lord. Because uh, your word says so, Lord. It's due season. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's due season. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, he hadn't forgot you. It's due season. Glory be to God. He sees that you're standing strong. You hadn't fainted. It's, it's due season. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's a good God. Mm, and then now, now we, we get this, this hope that make it not a shame. And because a shame is not part of my life. Come on now. Because I ain't going to faint. I'm going to keep keep going. I'm talking about endurance here. I'm, I won't go weary in well-doing. No, no, no. I can't get tired of doing good because if I get tired of doing good, the enemy has a teammate called shame and, and hope make it not a shame. Shame is not on my team. He's on the enemy's team. So I got to keep doing this good. God said, you said, I'm hanging on to everything that you said that Lord in my due season, I'll reap because I won't faint. I won't go weary. I'll do it, Lord, because I love you. I love you. I love you more than I love me. I love you. Yeah, 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 Lord. I love you more than I love my life. I love you. Yeah, Lord. That's why I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Yeah, yeah. I'm waiting on the due season. Oh, I'm walking in due season. Hallelujah. You won't faint. We won't faint. You're not going to faint. You're not going to faint. Hallelujah. Keep pressing. Keep doing right. 
because right is the right thing to do. Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about endurance here. Yeah. And then he says, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I'm in Ephesians chapter six. I'm at verse 10. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There you go, Pastor Chestnut. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren. Ah, finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Oh, yeah. You know, we could sweet song into the next few verses, but I need us to be able to get this. He says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, comma. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Not in you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Not in you. I know the world tells you to be strong. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm not strong in myself. No, no, no. In myself. Ha, ha, ha. In myself, I may faint if I, in myself, hallelujah, I might go weary in well-doing. So I have to anchor who I am, anchor my strength, be strong in the Lord, be strong in the Lord, not in Jeff. No, no, no. Jeff is strong because Jeff is strong in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Not, not in me, in the Lord. Hallelujah. I am who I am because of my anchor is in the Lord and in the power of his might. Come on, come on, come on. Mm. Be strong in the Lord. Yeah, yeah. And in the power of his might. Oh, we got to get this. Oh, boy. See, see, I, 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 I don't show up and expect expect Jeff to get it done. I show up and expect the God that's inside of me that I'm inside of because I'm plugged into him, strong in the Lord and in the power and in the power and in the power. I don't know how it works. Hallelujah. I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, in the power of his might, in the power, the power. Somebody said, what's the power? You know, when you, when you plug in your light and all you have to do is make the connection to the power source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I make the connection to the power source, what's inside of the source shoots inside of me. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so if I want to plug into him, then get this now. You want the power source, right? Then you got to, no, 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 don't, don't just chalk this up as a good sermon. You got to find in the word where it's written of you and the situation that you're in that's plugging into him, plugging into the power of his might. See, Jesus said, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. When I plug into him, the first phase of me plugging into him is his word. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. You didn't hear me. No, no. You, you got to hear this. This, this, this where it just gets good and good to me. I wish I could tell you I thought of this, but it's the Holy Spirit. Look, the first phase of identifying what you need to be successful is the word. Okay. Now, now, now get this. You got to get, you know, I wish I could just spill myself open and say, just eat this. Listen. Listen, when the Lord wanted to fix things, then the Bible says, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. No, 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 listen. Oh, come on, come on. We're going to get this system tonight because there's some soldiers out there that need this and you want this power. 
You've been desiring this power. I need this power. And by me teaching this, I'm partaking of that which I need for myself. There was a word that became flesh. There was a word that we couldn't see that came inside of a body that we could see. There was a word that came inside of Jeff. Oh boy, you didn't hear me. See, fill in the blank for yourself. There was a word. See, these three bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And the Bible tells me the Word became flesh. So I'm reading this Word right here, right now. And now this Word is becoming flesh. And see, after the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, it was at that place that the Holy Spirit, the power, ah, hallelujah. If I wasn't sitting down, I'd run around. Hallelujah. It was at that place, the power. You got to have a word in your flesh for the Holy Spirit to fall upon. My, 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 them boys woke with the word and then they went on their knees in the upper room and the power fell, the power fell, the power fell, the power fell, the power, the power, the power, the power, the power fell. Good God Almighty. Ha, ha, the power, the power fell. Come on now. You got to have a word. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to have a word. What is that that you need from God? What is that word that you put inside your flesh that's walking around right now? Ah, and when you go upon your knees in the upper room of the closet, your secret closet, the power electrifies it. Ah, he said, be strong in the Lord, the Lord, and the, in the power of his might and the power. Oh my, my, my. That's some power here. That's some power here. Oh my, my, my. That's some power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a word. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a word. Yeah, yeah. Sickness and disease. Uh, yeah, it won't dwell among us. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's inside of my body. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I get on my knees. I pray in the power. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The power falls. The power falls. Uh, yeah, yeah, I need I need a financial breakthrough. Uh, la, la. The Lord said that they give you the power to get wealth. Uh, I got a word, and the word dwells inside of me. Hallelujah. And I get on my knees and go before the Lord on what he said. And then the power fall. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Whatever you need. Hallelujah. God has a word that he wants to make flesh inside of you oh yeah he wants to make the flesh ah yeah 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 there's a word right now that needs flesh yeah 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 hallelujah it'll walk around it'll be inside of you hallelujah yeah them boys was up in an upper room and and the power the holy spirit fell on them the power the power of his might. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and just so, just so, your adversary would, would, would have this tough time to get it away. The, the apostle says, make sure you have your arm on. Ah, ah, now the rest of the text becomes relevant. There's a word. I have inside of me. You better make sure you have your armor on because if you believe in God for increase and, and somebody walks in your house and say, we always broke, we always lacking, you better have your helmet on to protect your head from that kind of word. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If you, if you ain't got that breastplate on, 
Oh, yo. And somebody questions you about the righteousness that you stand upon. You in some trouble. You better have that breastplate on. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better have the shoes that have the gospel of peace so that when you enter into places that could take your peace, you have his peace to anchor into so that you can maintain the course. Hallelujah. Yeah, you better have your sword of the spirit. Hallelujah, because you may need to deliver a word. Someone says, ah, we always getting sick around here. Yeah, no, 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 not me. I got a word inside of me that says by the stripes you bow in the back, I'm by his back, I'm healed. See, you got to be word ready. Then you, you had to have that faith shield. Hallelujah, for when the enemy tries to strike a blow and, and, and all you can do is duck it. Oh, no. Mm, huh. Ah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't seen and you ain't been in enough battles where, the, where you had to get behind that faith shield. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me remind you of a few. You remember when, when somebody on here may have had COVID last year? That was the enemy trying to kill you and you alive this year. You was behind the faith shield. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Ah, yeah, yeah, somebody was almost in a car accident or you was in a car accident and you survived. Yeah, some bones were broke. You took a blow, but the enemy was trying to kill you. But the shield of faith protected you. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, ah yeah, yeah, yeah. Some things that didn't seem to go your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and along that path, you wanted to abandon the course, but you hid behind the faith shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the shield protecting you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to have it all on. We got to have it all tied together. The girdle of truth tying everything together. Hallelujah. God is good. He wants us to endure while the word that he has for us is manifesting itself in our flesh and it's being empowered by the Holy Spirit all at the same time, God is saying, hang in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. He says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You know why it says may be able to? Because sometimes... You know, sometimes you may be missing a piece of armor. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But God says, put it on. I want you to be able to stand. I want you to be able to stand. Yeah, yeah. Knowing that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, uh, but against powers and principalities, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. But I want to remind us, not of the sweet song of the scripture in that component. I want to remind us, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. You get that word. You stand on that word with everything you got. Take that word to your knees and you watch the power of the living God ignite that word inside of your body. He's a good God. Glory be to God. He's a good God. Hallelujah. Hey, I want to tell you, it's been great ministering the word to you tonight. I got excited. Hallelujah. I'm sweating. If I was at church, I'd be sweating too. Hey, but that fire of God's word is something special. Hey, watch this, these messages. Watch them over and over again until you get it. Sometimes you need to tick mark some of these words. And for such a time as this, you say, I need this one. I need this one. I need this one. The power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if nobody told you they love you today, I love you. Thank God for you. You have a blessed and wonderful evening. Be blessed.